Good afternoon. We're now about to have a look at the um, CX2000 Grizzly EC and PH controller and the associated um, peristaltic pumps that come with the unit itself. Um, so first of all, we'll turn it on. We'll just go and turn it on now. Okay. So on the left hand side you've got the EC controller or CF controller um, measuring in um, micro siemens and on the right hand side you've got the pH controller. Down below you have the three peristaltics pumps the A and the B peristaltic and then the uh, acid or alkaline um, peristaltic pump. Now these peristaltics made in Japan they are very high quality you may have seen them in other videos but the, they're very very easy to maintain you just literally screw them off you can see the hose or pipe there it's very quick and easy and inexpensive to replace um, and then just a matter literally of putting it back in at the moment we've got it set at, um, at zero because the EC CF probe is just sitting out in here at the moment. Um, so we haven't got it set at zero but it is reading zero. Um, and so consequently the pumps are considering that they should be uh, dosing. And we've got the pH probe um, sitting in a um, storage solution at the moment. So you can, at the present moment, it's reading 5.23 um, with an ambient temperature, uh, non-ambient, a temperature of 24.3. Um, now, the, the one thing to realise is that, unlike a lot of other systems around at the moment, these are, are very, very high quality probes and they are designed to be in line. So there's no need for test pots and all the spillage and algae and everything else that occurs with a test pot with these they actually screw straight in and you, you're away you have total control so if we can see now as you can see these pumps are going um, you can you have control of these pumps to be able to set them in anywhere between one and seven minute intervals um, so that they can go for any amount of time, you can set the amount of time. So let's just say for instance that we've set it to go for 10 seconds every minute. Um, this gives the chance for the probe to be able to read what's in the solution and check it and then either turn or turn off the two, east, uh, the two peristaltic pumps. So in this case um, it's reading zero. Um, so as far as it's concerned it needs to add A and B solution um, and we've set the timer up which is on the side you'll see the timer flashing away on the side there and we've set that to go for um, 10 seconds every minute and you can see it's, it's a solid light when it's going and then when it's off it's a um, flashing light so you can see that that's what's going on there at the moment if you look at the um, pH controller, uh, at the moment the light is not on and the reason is because we've got a, six point, a set point of 6 in the, in the unit, 6.1 in the unit itself and at the moment it's only reading 5.31 so, and we've got it to re on a reducing uh, pH. So at the moment it's considering that everything's okay. So then if we take a solution and this solution is actually a buffer solution of 7 and we undo it and we put that into the solution you will see it starts to read up to, to the higher solution and automatically it started to say that there's a problem You'll also see on the right hand side here now that the controller itself is, has activated the timer and you'll see it's, it's timing now starting to say it needs to add some acid to the, to the solution. 
So that's basically it. You'll see in, a, in about a minute's time. I think we've got this set for two minutes at the moment, two minute intervals, and then a uh, three second, I think it is, dose time. So the whole thing, it's, it's operating in two separate units. It's operating in the ECCF microsemen area, um, and it's controlling the, the, that side of it in the, in, the, in the solution. And then on this side here, it's operating on the um, pH, and it's controlling the pH. And yeah, basically when it gets to zero, or to, to its set points, it'll stop, and at that point there, That'll finish that, and then you just saw the pH control, the pH peristaltic run, and as you can see, it's back to flashing again now. So that's the um, the peristal the um, Grizzly CX2000, a wonderful unit, very easy to maintain, very easy to control and clean, um, and keep operating for many years.